Next, we change portraits. So this, we finally get to the second portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. So it moved from the Mary Gillick, of course, to the Arnold Machen second portrait. And at this point in time, all the Canadian coins had the um, same exact engraving as the United Kingdom coins and another a number of other Commonwealth country coins. Again, Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, uh, Queen. And at the top, we have the two prongs, which tell us that this is the Arnold Machen second portrait, but also that this is the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland TR. We tip it up another smooth edge and tip it back, and we see this is 1973, and that's a George Kruger Gray again with the beaver chewing the log. Next up is the third portrait for the, Cana for the Canadian coins, and that is this portrait here. Now this one is interesting because if we look way down in here, we're looking for something on the United Kingdom coins, and that is the IRB for Ian Rank Broadley, who did the, um, the portrait. And if we actually, if we look at this one here, I mean, uh, Raphael David McClough, we're looking for an RDM, I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. But anyways, on the United Kingdom coins, and this is an Australian one, it says RDM here. If you look at the Canadian coin, you go, where's the RDM, the Raphael David McClough? And the reason that you don't see that is because this was the first year that Canada did its own engraving. So this is not a Raphael David McClough um, portrait, even though it looks very like it. It's done by Dora de Petterie Hunt. And this is the first year that Canada did its own engraving of the portrait. And that started in 1990. And this one right here is a 1993. And again, you can see uh, the beaded outer rim on this one. And that's why I wanted to bring your attention to this one, because see how this one is geared and this one is beaded. So when they first came out with them, uh, the the 12-sided version, it wasn't beaded, it was geared. Um, and this particular coin uh, with the Dora de Petri Hunt back on it was made from 1990 to 2000 and won the so-called third portrait, and this is the queen when she's 64 years old, which you think is pretty old until you realize that the queen is still alive and she's way more than 64. This came out, so she was 64 in 1990. So what is she today? Well, we know what she's in her mid 90s. And then there is this portrait, which is the fourth portrait on the Canadian coins. This initially came out in the year uh, 2002, but there were some specialty coins that came out. And this is, of course, Queen Elizabeth II when she is 77 years old. And again, we have the beaded exterior. This portrait here, again, is a Canadian portrait. So this is uh, by Susanna Blunt, who did this particular portrait. And we can actually see that because we have the the SB down here. Can you see the SB down underneath? So that's Susanna Blunt, um, SB, and she did this, the so-called Canadian fourth portrait. And down underneath, you see something else that isn't on, that started coming lately, and that is the P down here. And this is for the Royal Canadian Mint. They put a P on it. There are two different uh, mints in Canada. Uh, there's the Royal Canadian Mint, and then there's the Winnipeg Mint, and this is from the Royal Canadian Mint. We also see this one has a little bit of extra value because it has a doubling of the rim, but it's not extremely valuable. But you see how that rim doubles? So this is kind of a nice one to keep. The other reason I put this one in is because it has a special back, and this is the 2000 version. In the 2000 version, they reproduced a Canadian coin from the 1940s. And so in 1943 until 1945, they produced a V version of the Canada coin, five cent coin. And V is also the number five in uh, Roman numerals. And it stood for a victory in Canada from 1943 to 1945. Uh, this was a remake in 2005, the 60th anniversary of the uh, victory in Europe 
in the victory in Japan of the Allies. And you can see this one has some doubling of the rim on both sides. So this is a little bit of a valuable coin, but it's still only worth probably a dollar fifty even with the doubling. Um, you might see some of these doubling coins online. Uh, don't pay a lot for them. Um, if you see one in a, a oops with a in a coin collector's uh, coin dealer store, I would maybe buy one of those, but I wouldn't buy one online just because sometimes the way that these are set up online you just really can't tell until you see them in person because the the photography uh, is just hard to kind of see whether it's good doubling or not all right so that's our queen elizabeth ii portraits so we have the fourth portrait canada portrait we have the third canada portrait we have the well there's a second canada portrait here somewhere uh, there we go. The first Canada portrait. And then, of course, we have the 12 sided, not round version of the Canadian nickel or five cents coin. All right, that's all we have today from DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and please leave any comments you have in the comment section and we will read them, though we may not respond to them. Have a great day from DC Coin World International coin channel.